Everybody, we are currently in the beautiful Tobago Keys and we are going for a little excursion. We're gonna do a Caribbean of the Pirates, no, Pirates of the Caribbean. We're gonna do a Pirates of the Caribbean tour. I don't know anything about where it was filmed and stuff, I just know that Jack Sparrow was abandoned on the island over there, so we're gonna go there first. Welcome to the Caribbean, life. Yep, so we're all suited up. Ready to go. Ready to go, Jackson. Jackson's coming along for the ride. And meanwhile, we're gonna hope no one comes today and, and takes on this mooring buoy because all the mooring buoys are in the best spot. So we've anchored like super close to them because we wanted to be near this beach. So if someone takes that mooring buoy, we're probably gonna be, they're not gonna be happy with us. <laughs> Although it is off season, so there's lots of buoys available. If somebody decides to take one of these ones, they're just being well, silly. there's two here, but you know, knowing Charlie boys, they're like, oh, I want this one. So let's go on an adventure, guys. Cause for a moment I'm alive Apparently reef spotting. I think we're in the clear. Jackson, are you gonna find some rum? <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. One of the most amazing things about this lifestyle, every day is literally like a once in a lifetime opportunity. There's so many charter boats here who are paying thousands of dollars to come to this island just for a couple hours. And sometimes we forget how lucky we are that this is our home. You get to where you start to take it for granted and then you get to a place like this. And it kind of snaps you back to reality. It really puts things in perspective. And the best part about having your own boat is you get here before all the tourists do. So we made it to the Jack Sparrow Island and it's pretty cool. It's like literally just three. The sand is just pure white. So that's nothing new back home in Australia. Now we're just gonna find this treasure chest. But Brittany says there's no treasure here. She's like, Ryan, you're full of crap. And I'm like, no, seriously, Jack Sparrow put treasure here and I wanna find it. So I'm gonna look for it and see if I'm right. All right, we're gonna go back to the island. I didn't find the treasure. So I gotta watch the movie again. And we're gonna go back to the island and do the walk, eh? No! Not good! Stop! Not good! We wanna go for a swim. So Brittany's just uh, checking out the reef here. The reef goes like all the way around these islands. And we're just on the outside of it here. And we got a beautiful calm day. So Brittany's just jumped in. She goes, oh, let's just see what it's like here. Cause we've got to pick a spot to go swimming. So we'll drop Jackson off because it's getting a bit hot now. Hey, it's starting, the sun's starting to come out. So we'll uh, drop Jackson off and come back out for a bit of a swim in the reef and let Jackson keep cool under shade on the boat. Pretty cool. Brittany said she's seen a nurse shark already. That's here. Really? She come back with a spear gun. <laughs> nah, look. You're not allowed to spear fish or fish here. I think it's a nature reserve. The water is so clear. I wish you could come snorkeling too, mate, but they don't make dog snorkels. So shit out of luck there, buddy. Sorry, mate. So amazing, eh? We're just cruising by the dinghy and Brittany's like, oh, shark, oh, stingray, oh, fish. Oh, look, it's like, it's so clear. Too bad we can't anchor on top of it. Our draft is two meters, so we can't really anchor. Yeah. Got the park rangers collecting the cash. Yeah. <laughs> so it goes to keeping this place safe and natural. Thank you. Thanks guys. Oh, thank, thank you. you. See you guys. Take care. 
when you come here, you have a choice between taking a mooring buoy or anchoring. The mooring buoy you pay extra for, but regardless whether you anchor or you're on a buoy, you have to pay 10 EC per person per day. It's their way of helping to preserve all the reef and the wildlife. But really, they just take the money to go to the pub later for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, sexy legs. Let's go check out this reef. So we're back on Jack's Island. What do we call it? Rum Island? We're on Rum Island. I reckon I found the treasure because I watched the movie. Oh, apparently I don't know where the treasure is, so Brittany's gonna do it. Come on, find the treasure, baby. Well, I don't think we need to knock it anymore because we already knocked it. We know, we know that's a tree. I knew it was there. Australians, we can smell beer from a mile away. <laughs> hey, mate! <laughs> Alright, there's not much here, guys. There's a heaps of little sand flies around here biting us. We probably walked through a whole bunch of spider webs as well. Come on. Hmm. Was it worth it? Yep. Got myself a nice ice cold beer in the treasure chest. Out of the fridge. Ah, whatever. You can cut that out. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. So we pulled the sails out. We've just left Tobago Keys. We have a whopping six nautical miles to our next anchorage. We're real pirates of the Caribbean, baby. <laughs> Ryan, stop. We're sailors. I'm trying to say something and I just see this in the corner of my eye. We're sailing, we're real pirates. It's so awesome being on this side of the Caribbean because every island is literally under an hour away from each other. Each island you can see perfectly from the next. So yeah, we're just got the sails out. We're gonna take it easy, do our massive passage across. Yeah, this is the best sail ever. We've got like 10 knots on our beam, 
flat seas. The sails just sitting there perfectly. And we're just crossing between islands. It's literally like an hour, hour and a half maybe. We're just kind of plodding along slowly. The anchorage is right around this point. Also have some lemons. That's okay. We're good for lemons, but I'd love some mangoes. <laughs> Jackson, what's this? Alrighty. Anchor's not even down, and we already got mangoes. So Alex here delivered us some mangoes. Yeah. Cost us 30 EC, which was very expensive. However, we've been living free for quite a while now, so we wanted 50 EC. Ah, uh, I think we could have given them 10 and he would have taken it. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> you can tell they're the local mangoes, like what we could probably go hike up and grab ourselves. Ah, it's all good. He's, you know, I mean, he was, he, I've heard things like these guys come out and they, uh, he's like, I'll tell you what to anchor, you can't anchor here, it's not very good. And I'm like, well, we just anchored in pure sand. <laughs> it's like it comes in a canoe, I'm a harbor master. But basically, he, will tell, he tells you where to anchor. And then he asked for asked money. For money for, so for really, helping. he just gave us mangoes and we gave him money anyway. But at least got mangoes out of it, right? Well, now we literally just said Ryan and I both really want a smoothie, but we're on to our last mango, our last precious mango. So this is perfect. I'm gonna put cut, cut these all up, put them in the freezer, and we're gonna have maybe two or three more days worth of smoothies. Yes. Hey? Yeah, exactly. So I have to go to town now tomorrow. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. this is boring. This isn't any, yeah. even Come interesting. On. You're locking me out the boat here, woman. <laughs> <laughs> So first order of business is taking the baby for a walk. All right, so this is Frigga Island. This is basically where Jackson's been going to the toilet. <laughs> no, but this, so you can see this little wall here. They've actually put this on to kind of preserve the island, I guess, because the sea's just washing it away. But um, this is only connected to the mainland by these two little suspension bridges up ahead. Are you sure you want to do this, Brittany? It says do it at your own risk. Lovely. Uh, it looks pretty sturdy. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Go, 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 good boy. Oh, he's a little bit like, what's going on? Oh, Look at this. Oh, shit. Guys, this actually... <laughs> Look at that shackle. That should have been replaced about six years ago. This is legit like risking your life right here, Brittany. <laughs> Go on, mate. Let's get the hell off of this thing. Man, we got like splitting timber here, rusted shackles. All this wire is just like a ball of rust. Look at this one. This one's not even doing anything. Come on, Brittany. You can't look like a pansy on YouTube. Come do it. Come on. The worst that's going to happen is you're going to fall in the water. Oh, Brittany's scared. Brittany's scared. Come on. All right, so that's where we're anchored. We got Frigga Island. This is all Union Island and then Clifton's the main town that way. So Clifton is, um, it's an interesting place, <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, I just went in there to check out and uh, 
that was pretty much it. So it's all you need to see of Clifton. I'm sorry guys, but it wasn't fantastic. It was actually a bit scary. I see absolutely no purpose in walking across an old rusty rickety bridge. The purpose is you risk your life to get the views on YouTube. It's only good if something <laughs> bad happens. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, mate? I don't think you realize how deep it was there. Look, he's stuck. I haven't brushed my teeth. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> Please ruin it. Hey, buddy. This is my steering lock. <laughs> it's like a piece of line. <laughs> Yay! We're back and I think I know where the treasure is. Okay, you have to do that one again. <laughs> Crack the beer! I don't want to drink beer, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. You have to, you committed to it, do it. Oh no, don't put me that position. Do it! it. I just brushed my teeth, no. Okay, look, you guys see my Instagram, I've got like 600 followers. <laughs> but you know, if you want to follow on Instagram, I think it's like, what is it, Brittany? Ryan Weepers or Ryan underscore Weepers? I don't know. Sailing underscore Sunday. What's up? Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Alright, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.